Have you been told that your back pain is coming from your facet joints? My name's Anthony Gosh, I'm a consultant spinal neurosurgeon. And in this video, I'm going to explain what the facet joints are, how to tell if that's where your pain is coming from, how to diagnose it and treat it. Firstly, we need to understand the anatomy of the spine, how it's made up. It's made up of a stack of bones called vertebrae that stack themselves all the way from deep in your pelvis here, all the way up to the skull. If we zoom in, each vertebrae consists of a cylindrical block of bone here at the front, connected to an arch of bone here at the side. And here's a, a cross section view, where here's the arch of bone at the back, and this is where the vertebral body is with the disc material shown here that sits between the two bones as a cushion. So a facet joint is what joins the bones of the arch at the back of the spine shown here on the side view and on a cross section view shown here and here. Here's a view of the back of the spine and we can see that the facet joints here and here work in pairs allowing a little bit of movement between each level. Sort of side to side motion, a bit of rotation, bending and extending. Looking at the facets with an MRI scan, here's the front, this is a cross section, here's the front of the spine, the back of the spine, right and left, and this is the arch of the back of the spine and this is the spinal canal where all the nerves are with the disc being in front. So here's the facet joint on the right, here's the one on the left. They have a capsule around them which contains fluid and inside the joint there's some cartilage shown in black here with the fluid shown in white. The nerve leads through this gap here and has a small branch that innervates this joint which sends the sensation of pain to your brain. So wear and tear in this joint can be caused by prolonged inactivity, a sedentary lifestyle, poor posture and slouching for prolonged periods of time or abnormal loading of the joints, excessive abnormal loading and hyperextension causing that wear and tear. Most of the time the diagnosis is made clinically from a good history and examination. The pain tends to be quite focal around the, the joint itself, so a focal point just to one side of the midline. It tends to occur after initiating movement following periods of inactivity, such as first thing in the morning, or if you've been sat in a chair for quite some time and you go to stand up. Bending forwards doesn't really generate the pain, but trying to stand up straight from that position can trigger the pain. Also extending, leaning backwards with your back can also trigger it. Whilst it comes on on the initiation of movement, after a few steps of walking, often people say it starts to ease that little bit. An MRI can be helpful in the diagnosis by showing us an enlarged joint with wear and tear around it and possibly an excess of fluid in the capsule but correlation is key, matching this with the clinical findings, because these findings on the MRI scan are actually quite common in people who do not have back pain. And sometimes to confirm the diagnosis, we can target the nerve that innervates that facet with an injection of steroid and local anesthetic to test if that's the cause of the pain. Most of the time, the treatment of this should not be surgical. I tend to refer my patients to a physiotherapist or an osteopath who specializes in cognitive functional therapy. This is a form of physiotherapy that's been pioneered and researched extensively by Professor Peter O'Sullivan. There's a link to my video interview with him below. He basically improves the way you think about the causes of your pain, eliminates any abnormal beliefs or addresses them and then changes the way we move, corrects some of the functional movements of our body around the pain. Exercise in general, any exercise where we keep ourselves moving um, helps improve this, as well as flexibility um, exercises. Again, a steroid injection around the joint can help calm things down so that you can engage in the physiotherapy treatment. And sometimes a similar treatment carried out by the pain specialist I work with, where we pass a needle down to the joint, but burn some of the nerve endings around the joint. That's called radiofrequency ablation. We're not burning the nerve, just the very end points that innervate the joint capsule. That buys you a bit of time with pain improvement to get on and do these exercises to help improve things in the future. 
And finally, in an absolute minority of cases, if we've proven that the source of your pain is from a specific facet joint, you failed all other treatments, then surgery to fuse the segment with some metal work through a minimally invasive technique can be helpful. So facet joint pain is quite common. If it's confirmed on an MRI scan, that doesn't mean your spine is damaged. The right type of physiotherapy with some targeted therapy can often return you back to normality. I really hope you found this video helpful. If so, please click that like button and do subscribe to the channel. Also visit us at spinemdt.com to see how we can help you. Thank you very much for watching.